Okay, I think we are about ready. Let's see, my phone's going. Uh, one second, did I turn the volume down? There we go. Not that I don't think it really matters, but you never know. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Let me go ahead and swap this over. There we go. Back to chapter 10. I forgot what chapter we were on. I was doing so good. I was doing so good, but then... Agma got to hit, get hit by a crit. That's how it always goes, doesn't it? There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try this again. I basically... I basically did perfectly fine last time, but no. The game's like... You gotta... You know, you gotta get hit by a crit and someone's gonna die. And be like, oh, thanks. Alright. Navarre. Let's try this again. Warp. Navarre. We are sending him... Right. Right here. Wait, I forgot. I might have set him below the armor knight. But we'll see. That might have been a mistake. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. However, Navar, Armor Slayer, get him out of here. Ah, oh, Navar got hit. Not a good sign. Okay. I'm putting you up here. I might as well set you here. And you go here. Alright. Everyone else has to rush up. Last time... Only one thief managed to get a chest. Hey, Franny, how's it's going good? How are you doing? How's it going today? Uh, all right, the ad's still going, but you know, you, that's not an issue for you. So we got through a few chapters yesterday, and during this chapter, I was doing really good. Got all the way to the boss, and I was gonna get rid of him before working over here. I set Ogma here to get attacked, and Ogma got hit by crit. So that's what happened yesterday. That's how it ended yesterday. <laughs> but so far, this chapter isn't that bad. And that should be it. Yeah, pretty much. I don't even know if you actually need to get them out of the jail cell. I think they're still join you later. <laughs> it's just kind of rude to not get them out of the jail cell. Oh yeah, what's going on in your end, Franny? The dragon's gonna transform. This is chapter 10. Uh, although, if you were to compare this with, you know, Shadow Dragon, this is more like chapter 12, I think. Because, remember, book one here cuts out like a total of five chapters from the original game. Navar really needs to be there. I'm gonna need to give him my, uh... Have him use a vulnerary. But no, we got to... This is the chapter immediately after recruiting Lind. Yeah, that can go in storage. 
and we are just in the castle liberating it. Castor, can you get the KO? Uh, attack speed of 4, 16, uh, the seal? 19, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we just uh, took out the outside of Arcanea. And Arcanea had uh, like a few ballistas. It's the first chapter with ballistas. And we uh, we are now inside the castle, liberating it. Ooh, where is this guy? Attack speed of 10, 17. No, clo it's close, but not close enough, but we'll go ahead and let it happen. Go, Abel. You got this. Yeah, on my own, I've been continuing Harvest Moon 64. Want to basically beat that before moving on to play some GameCube games on my own time. But, you know, the one benefit of doing that is, uh... Some of the achievements of GameCube sets are getting revisions. Probably some glitches or bugs or something, so it gives a little bit more time for those to get fixed and patched out. But, you know, I'm now at the point in Harvest Moon 64 where I just need to basically beat the game. And by beat the game, it's more of get evaluated at the end of year three or something like that. Because I basically have everything. It's like, whoop, gotta just do the routines and just kill time. The one from the Fire Emblem Summer was my favorite fi character in class. Ooh. So, I tend to like mages. Mages are one of my go-tos. Heroes are another one of my go-to classes that I like using. And who could not like a power? I, I think those are kind of my go-tos. Basically, any type of mage, heroes, and and the paladins. Was I able to KO? No, it was with the steel axe. That's right. How about you? Favorite classes. Oh, the 8% crit. Go, Barst. Alright. What is your range? Yeah. I'm gonna have an odd one get close. Go ahead and click the armor slayer. Right, Navar is too weak. Really need some extra health. So I did this poorly last time. Um, I might as well just keep him here. Go ahead, use your ordinary. Hopefully that'll work out for me. And your range was. Two squares away. I don't need Julian to open the door, because the thief is going to do that. So I can have Julian head up here, open the door, because why not? Come back down, open this door so we can get rid of the sniper. Then he has to go around so we can go open this door and get that treasure chest. Yeah, we have Lind now. I'm probably going to have her in the main team, because if I remember correctly, she is better than Merrick. Granted, Merrick's level 6, she's level 1, but if I give her a few KOs, she'll just straight up be better if I remember correctly. Oh, 
good. Navar needed a dodge. He's fine. And Barst has got this. Once the night takes its time to get close. There we go. Um, okay. That's open. I think we could take down that particular key. Uh, that one. The one that didn't open the door. I think Barst is close enough. And then we had Caster go ahead and take down the mages. And, uh, iron will do. Yeah, iron will do. Come on, hit him, Barst. Do it. Kill him. That's done. Barst, level 11, strength, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. Not bad, not bad. Navar did not get hit. He is currently okay. I think he needed the steel to get the KO. Iron was too weak. I mean, ultimately, it does not matter if you crit. But that works. Okay. So the mages are coming up. I need Castor to really move up. And basically everyone but Marth is going around to the dragon. Here. And everyone's gonna take a long time just to get through this castle. I will say, there's like no enemies here, so only a few units actually get to do something. <laughs> yes, go after Navar. Do it. Oh, good. We got a dodge. Okay. First, Barts can't get close enough, but we can use the hand axe. Please hit. Oh, I got lucky. There, all the thieves are dead. Now we have nothing to worry about. Steel sword. And the prisoners are now safe. They are now completely safe. Alright. Where's your range? Now... Ooh. Okay, wait a minute. They are in different spots this time. Is there a spot Caster can go? Yes. Right over here-ish. He's out of range at the moment. But it's over there. Right. I want Marth right here. Stay out of range. And Julian can start heading this way. Everyone else? Stay just out of range. I might try having Lin to take down the dragon this time. I had Merrick do it, and I got a little bit lucky because he dodged. I still might mo I still might put Merrick first, just in case someone gets hit. But I might try to give Lin the KO.
Oh yeah, you mentioned you were playing genealogy, if I'm correct, right? Did you, get, did you play more? Did you get a little bit farther? Okay, uh, let, let's see. Defense of two, attack speed is zero. Check. Attack speed is zero. With the iron, I can double. Fourteen. Copy fourteen damage with the iron bow. Yeah, we're fine. There we go. Farce is still out of range, that's fine. Oh, wait, no, if that guy's not even targeting bars, he's not gonna target me. It's fine. I think I had bars get in range. What was your attack? 22, defense is 17. Uh, let's see, quick, uh, defense is 17. No matter what, I have the attack speed. Oh, damn. What a waste. Here. No, oh, wait. The bar. Go ahead and go down here. Not much. Side. Ah, I see, I see. Got, got real life stuff going on, so gonna play. It's all good. I totally, I totally get it. You got through the first three chapters, okay. And when you say chapters, because this is genealogy, I'm assuming you actually mean the chapters and not like chapter two, but you took down the first three castles. It's like each chapter has like four or five chapters within it. Caster got strength, speed, HP, very nice. Okay. He did get hit. What is your attack? Attack is eight. Yeah, you'll be fine. Where's your range? Let's have you go right here. No, normally you're okay with the chat with using chapters as the title, but genealogy is a little weird. First, go ahead and you can stand right here. It's fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. And someone needed healing. Navar. Navar needed healing. There we go. Yeah, each chapter in genealogy might as well be comprised of four or five chapters in a normal Fire Emblem game. So it's a little bit weird. Uh, okay. I think we're good. Yeah, last stream I managed to get through like a good, what, three chapters? Almost four? I think that's, I think I'm doing one enough, right? There we go, Castor's good. First, you can survive this. Yeah, you can survive this. Slowly walk towards Barst. And Barst gets the crit, kind of like last time. And now, Mark can go ahead 
can attack with the rapier for 20 damage, but he has 17 defense, which means it's 3 damage. And luckily he has exactly 3 HP. Marth, I need a good level up. You need strength. You really do. Level 7, speed, luck, HP. That's not going to help you deal more damage, Marth. That's not gonna help you. Can I heal you? I did not. I healed him with all. Okay. The mages can start heading down to the dragon. As well as everyone else, I guess. Lim, you need help here. Magma, over here. How far can Lana go? Or Lana? Let's go ahead and heal Caster. Because I want him to move the... the uh, sniper. And also attack back while we're at it. Right, Abel, you also keep moving. And I did move all these guys, but I don't know if it actually means anything. Because they can't do anything. I don't have extra weapons for them. Not that I would want to use them. I kind of already have a main unit. Go ahead. What's in this treasure chest? It is gold. We'll take it. And down. Let's go ahead and make sure Wizard is equipped. What is the dragon's range? Ah, uh, Merrick just needed to get like one more like, right here. Everyone else just kind of stay close, just out of range. You're full. Ah, oh, you're close. You're close. Let's go ahead and heal Barst. He might need more than one heal. Perfect. Close enough. And Julian, you also head down to where Marth is. So we can get that door open. Isn't this chapter great? <laughs> it's such a big area with very little and very few enemies, to be honest. It takes just a long time for anyone to get anywhere. Should be it? Yep. Marth, go ahead. We get a manual. That does weapon... Okay, increases the weapon level by five. Okay. I might as well just throw that in here. I, hmm, I don't know who I would use that to for right now, but I can see the use. Merrick, you need to just stand here. We'll make sure Lena's close by. Both of them can survive a hit. You know, weapon level seems to be uh, ranking up a lot for a lot of the characters, so I almost don't feel the need to raise weapon level. 
but who knows. Maybe someone just needs that extra boost to use a weapon. Like a silver weapon. Ah, oh, they can all stay there. <laughs> and now the Durgan attacks. Will Merc dodge again? Nope, not this time. That's where uh, this uh, attempt differs, I guess. These two are starting to head to the dragon so they could heal him. Alright, Lind. Lizard for 19 damage in total. With 5 resists, that is four. It's still 14. Your attack is 20, but you have 4 resist. Lind can survive. Give her the KO. What? Oh, what? I thought resistance is a factor for. Never mind. I thought resistance was a factor. My bad. for a reset, I guess. Hope you like the same thing again. Third attempt at this chapter. And yet this chapter is not that bad. I thought dragons, the dragon's breath is still based on, on uh, resistance. Or does the dragon's breath ignore... Uh, ignore defenses unless it's fighting another dragon. Well, we may not be using Lind. We may not actually use her. We'll see. That's kind of disappointing. I noticed Lind had zero defense when going up against, uh, going up against the dragon. So I think the dragon's breath actually just ignores defenses, unless fighting another dragon. set Navar like right here instead he would be in range of both of them and we could get rid of two of the armor knights immediately I don't think it really matters though something to consider for next time if I uh, fail again So I haven't really used Cain and Abel. I haven't been that useful. Right, let's get Julian. I mean, maybe... I don't know. They just haven't really been useful right now. As soon as they're dismounted, they haven't been that great. Here. And sure. 
change it up just a little bit. See how that differs. Okay. Now this guy is not even attacking Navar, which is good. Because that's what happened the first time. So yeah, I might have to just use Merrick. I could have Lind help out with this KO right here instead of giving it to Marth. Marth is not getting a good level up out of it anyway. What about, what about this? Hold on. Thunder, I have enough attack speed. Seven damage. It's still only 14. What about Aura? It doesn't seem to have any sort of effectiveness. Only one attack speed. But I could get the KO. Yeah, you know what? Let's give Lin some EXP. She kind of needs it right now. Maybe a little much to use Aura, but this is something. She kind of needs the KOs. Aster, go right ahead and use your Steel Bow. Due to her low defense, could not do anything against an attack since they are quite weak to magic, so Merrick would be the better magic. Right. But I would think I thought Dragon I thought Dragon's Breath would be considered a magic attack. So when I saw that Lind had four resists, I thought she would be able to survive a single Dragon Breath attack. But it turns out Dragon Breath is not considered a magic attack. That's what I thought. So, that's why I assumed Lind would survive, but clearly she didn't. Can you win with the iron? Yeah. Her level didn't help much either. Yeah, she is only level one. That doesn't help either. To be fair, we just got her. Yeah, to be fair, we just got Lind last chapter, and she wasn't able to do anything last chapter. Because last chapter, what I did was I took Bantu, and then I warped, turned him into a dragon, and warped him over to, like, where the boss is. <laughs> and that's where all the enemies were, and freaking Bantu just went to town, taking out everyone he saw, standing on a fort. Archer's gonna need to move out of the way. Mages are on the move. But if I if I remember correctly, when Bantu was going up against the drag the dragon in the last chapter, I think he had some defense. So I think when you're a dragon, dragon's breath, you you resist dragon's breath, I, I think. That is my guess. And that's the only way to resist it. So that's what that's where I got confused. I can actually just move you over here. And you are safe. 
granted, it's probably going to go after Navarre, but that's okay. Better to use kind of a support to lower the enemy's HP and use merit to finish them. Well, um, yeah, that would be a good idea to use Bontu for that. In this case, though, Merrick is able to take it out, take it out by himself, unless he gets hit. Last time, uh, he managed to dodge. So he was able to get the KO. I'm gonna equip the armor slayer. There we go. Right here. Perfect. I'm gonna try to feed Lynn a couple KOs. Try to get her some EXP. catching up. She'll catch up eventually. I could bench one other character, like Kane or Abel, because they're not really being used right now, and bring Bantu in and then just warp him somewhere. <laughs> warp Bantu to where all the enemies are. Including the dragon. Uh, honestly, there isn't that many enemies here. I don't think Bantu is really needed. Mm, that guy moved to a different square altogether. That's not where he normally stands. Makes a difference when you have Lin to get the kill instead of some other character, huh? Well, either way, still gonna try to hit with the iron. Get out of here. Skill, luck, and HP. See, we're on like a weird different RNG right now. ahead. Get the KO. Perfect. There. They're all safe. Again. Yeah, third time's the charm. Julian. Get in there, we're getting there. Almost back to where I was. When you really think about it, getting to the dragon doesn't take that many turns. It's just that the map is huge, and the UI is a bit clunky. That's actually a good spot for the mages. First, Barst. Can you hit him with your hand axe? Okay. Normally he's able to get the KO. However, if I remember correctly, he got a strength boost last time. Maybe that strength point is actually exactly the amount of uh, strength he needs to get a KO. That's disappointing. That's disappointing to learn. I'm going to go here. Marth. Stay out of range. Lose your range again. You want to double check? Okay. 
That's weird. So it's better to not give Lind that KO. So that way Barfs gets the strength boost. And Barfs can one hit KO the thief with the hand axe. I didn't realize it was literally one point difference. Get the gold. Actually, thinking about it, is that gonna be a problem? I should get both the gold and the Orion's bolt. Let's see. Okay. I want to actually use the steel, have that ready to go. Should get the Orion's Bolt, and I should get at least 10,000 gold. Here's the 10,000 gold. Here's the Orion's Bolt. We're good. Wait, 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 wait. What's your range? Okay, you're good. Mark can head down. Caster can move one down, yes. And he needed... He just needed the Iron Bow. Yeah, I think he could just use the Iron Bow here. getting attacked. Set you here. Perfect. Get healed. Yeah, sadly, Merix is the only one that can actually fight the dragon right now and actually survive a hit. After that, I'm going to have to use other characters. Actually, Marth currently has the Worm Slayer. I might have to give that to someone else. Just so they can actually fight the dragon. HP. That's it. Okay. Well, you're on the move. You're going to attack Barst. Actually, we'll see if Barst gets the crit. That will change things. He dodged. And he did, get, he did still get the crit. However, if we notice, because Barst did not get that one point in strength, he is currently at 7 HP instead of 3. Marth cannot get the KO even if he wanted to. He could weaken. Interesting. So much changes. Uh, if I just go and attack, attack 25. What is that? Uh, it's enough to KO. It was eight, I believe. Well, Burst is getting it, and not Marth.
there's his strength point in speed, defense, max, max HP. Okay, uh, note to self. We will not give Lind the KO from the thief. We will not do that. Because it just messes up everything else. Castor is chest in range. damage. Well, Castor wasn't able to double. Interesting. Normally he is. Normally he's able to double. Attack speed of 4, attack speed of 2. Interesting. Um... Eight, ten, seven, seven. I guess I'll grab, give the kill to Agma. It's not gonna hurt anything. Dragon Pike could be of use, but I don't know if you have one. I have a Wyvern Slayer. And Marth has it. We, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna wait for Caster. So, you know what? I'm gonna have Marth go over here. We are going to trade weapons. I had her held on to another Armor Slayer just in case. You know what? I'm gonna have her do this. Alright. Because so we can go ahead and give the Wyvern Slayer over to Agma. He can't use the. He can't use that. There we go. That will help. That should help. Staff heal. Yeah, we just got the Wyvern Slayer, like, I think last chapter, I believe. Actually, it might have been the chapter before. No, it, no, it was last chapter. It was last chapter. Caster, you move down here. Barst, you need healing. And then Merrick can start heading down and we can start working on the dragon. Yeah, we have armor slayers. We have a single uh, horse slayer, which uh, I haven't used yet. I haven't really found the need to use it. Oh, this could be bad. They're too close. These got these two are too close. That's actually really bad. Where do I want to stand? Merrick would need to stand here to be in range. He can go there now, but you know what? I'm not going to just yet. Because if that dragon gets a full heal, then that's going to be a big problem. What we're gonna do. 
strategy's changed already. gonna take a bit for him to get here. The plan is I'm gonna have Caster distract the sniper right here. Julian opens the door. Marth blocks the sniper for doing anything. If the sniper is hit, I am hoping that these two will start heading back this way. If they do that and get away from the dragon, I'll be okay. And then I guess I'll have Julian open the chest before running all the way around to get over here. Okay. I really need to get those healers out of the way. So if I do this, what are we looking at? Attack speed of one. That's right. He needs to stick with the iron so that way he doesn't get doubled. Yeah, we're only talking like seven damage. But it's really just to distract him, that's all. And to be honest, I think I'm just gonna leave everyone else where they are. That's about it. Alright. Okay. Julian. Close. Alright, one more turn. Wait. No, I can do I can set this up now. There we go. to do. So now that the sniper has gotten hit, the... Oh, they're not moving. Open the door. Might as well open the chest. Got a silver sword. We can wait. Marth, start attacking. Uh, you can't... You deal zero damage with the iron, so you have to use the steel. That's what... That's right, I remember. It's gonna be slow. It's gonna be very slow, but Marth can get the EXP out of it. Move one more square. Can move one more. I am hoping these two will move. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I need. Now they are not close enough to the dragon. Head up. We'll get him healed soon. Julian, grab the chest. Goddess icon. And we'll have Marth keep attacking. Yeah, Marth, get that 3 EXP. Level 7. Strength! Oh my god, this is the run. He got a strength point. This is more worth it now. I'll deal with some of the other stuff like Bars not getting the one-hit KOs if Mark could get a point in strength. Let's go, this is the run. Now he can deal four damage to the sniper. Of course he gets hit. And notice Merrick has no resist uh, no resistance to the dragon's breath too. Now they're moving back to the dragon. Okay. 
Let's see. I could heal Merrick. And he could get the KO. Where's Akma? Akma could go in and deal 38 damage minus the defense. So we're talking 26 damage. I think we're good. Level 9. Skill, luck, weapon level, and we got a Volinary. Alright. Let's go ahead and we need to heal Caster and Milk Mary. Everyone else, start rushing in on these healers. Now that they're separated from the boss. Okay. No, you, you stay here. You know what? I'll heal Merrick instead. And that way he can keep moving. Eh, close enough. Could attack, but let's be honest. They have 12 res. <laughs> the only th one that could deal damage is Excalibur, and we're talking one point in damage. Alright. Uh, Marth, continue attacking for 4 damage per hit. Marth, you need that crit. You need a crit to make progress. Alright. Yes, do it. Run away! Flee in terror! Alright, go ahead and continue fighting. Hey, he got the crit! Good for Marth. He's speeding up the process. You can go ahead and move down here. Navar? Go ahead and get yourself a KO. I think this might be a good run, maybe. Let's see. Five defense. Twenty-six, not enough HP. Not enough. Unless I get a crit. And there's the crit. Go Navar. And we are level eleven. We got a luck, defense, and HP. That's something. Um. So last time. Well, not last time. On my first attempt, I made it all the way here. And, you know, Marth was still working on this. Uh, I think both of these healers were here. But what I did was I set Ogma right here. I had him wait. So that way, he got attacked by the boss, but he could, you know, fight back. And then, what happened was Agma got hit by a crit and died. It's like, thanks game. I, it's not like I could plan for that. So that's why I had to reset. Should be good. Julian's already moved. Yeah. Now there's only one healer. And he put himself in a very bad spot. 
Like, why would you put yourself there? Okay, Marth, one more turn. And you'll get the KO. Let's see. Ah, too bad Caster is too far away. Start getting units uh, over here out of the way. Down here. Yeah, uh, this guy has a uh, Bogonon. Bogonon. You see, he has an attack of 22. Well, Agma is able to survive an attack of 22. But not a crit with an attack of 66, though, you know? Can't, he can't survive that. And then you go here. Who's left? Julian. You'll get there eventually. Wonder if it would have been better for him to just wait around. He's trying to get to the sniper to heal him, but he can't. He can't get too close. Okay, no matter what, the attack speed, I'm only doing a single attack. So if I go ahead and use my steel bow, 20 damage, 15 damage. Have Merrick attack the boss. The problem is Merrick can't uh, really deal any damage because his resistance is 12. Merrick can only deal a single point da in damage with Excalibur. Granted, and he only has three defense res. It's not much. You know what? I don't want him to move. I don't want to be in range with the boss with Caster, so I'm just going to actually leave it be for a second. First, we can stand right here. Uh, see, look, if I were to have Merrick come close, let's just pick Thunder. See, he has 12 resistance. I can't deal any damage to him. And he does 22 damage, but I have a res of 3. Not really worth it to use Merrick. It's not like he can even tank it. And Lind is not much better. Let's check the aura, actually. So attack of 21, but with a res of 12. Uh, we're still talking 11 damage. I mean, granted, aura's way better. Aura will deal way more damage than what Merrick can do. I'll give it that. Attack of 22. The problem is... She has 4 res, which... It would bring it down to 18. So it's exactly the, ex the amount of HP that she has. That's not useful whatsoever. Now, Agma. I had him with... I think I had him with the steel. So he has 16 damage here. A total of 11, but he doubles, so we're talking 22 damage. Agma can survive a single hit. He can survive a single hit from him. It's just that he got hit by a crit. I'm willing to try it again. We are on a different, like, RNG C or whatever. So you go ahead. Grab the KO. Get rid of this guy. Oh, men's staff. There we go. A new men's staff. Just what I need. And Marth, go ahead and finally get your KO. He 
did it, Marth. He still didn't get a level out of it. Julianne, you do this. Okay, so my plan was to have Ogma stand right here. He has 26 HP. He can survive a single attack. As long as the boss doesn't make any crits. Exactly. As long as the boss does not crit, does not crit again, we will be fine. That's all that needs to happen. Just don't crit. I want Lind over here. And I guess I'll throw... Actually, no, no, no. My plan was to actually have Kane over here. That's what it was. I wanted Kane here to try to get some EXP from these guys. And I was going to have Lind... I'll probably have Lind maybe grab some KOs. Alright. See how it goes. You rebels who oppose Deluna. Taste my destructive Bulgan magic. Wait a minute, and he has zero crit now. Huh. Well, it worked out. It worked out. I don't think you've won. Deluna will not fall. Ugh. Supply. And Marth? We won't seize the throne just yet. We still got a few more enemies to take care of. Alright. What is your move? Yeah, that went pretty, pretty well. Um, what is your attack? 20... You have an attack of 21. Kane, what is your defense? 8. You can survive a hit. Attack speed of 8. Attack speed of 0. I double. Now I'm re... Now I'm not sure if I want to use Kane. Attack of 13. Defense of 5. Okay, no. I can use Kane. I can use Kane for a bit. Lena needs to get closer, though. You did not get hit, so we're fine. And you know what? I want more backup. And... I think I want Lena able to heal, so I'm gonna wait one second before opening this door. So, go ahead and open the door. You wait. Kane, you stand right here. That's all you can do. close by. This will work. Alright. I'm sure the stats are similar to each other. Okay, we got a dodge. That's good. We got a crit. That would have been bad if I didn't dodge. But I did dodge, so this is okay.
think he needs to be healed instead. Do I go with... I just got a new men's staff. We need to heal at least 13 HP. Yeah, I think a heal staff will actually be okay. Because lately it's been healing like 16. Perfect. Now, if you attack... Perfect. I don't know if you can hear. And we got a nice crest. I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog's having a dream. Uh. Okay. So, Kane should get attacked again. Never mind, he's out of range. I'm scared for nothing. One square forward. And we'll leave it there. And Kane dodged. And he gets the crit. Sorry, Lind. <laughs> Sorry, Lind, you don't get a you don't get EXP. I was gonna give Lind EXP. That was part of the plan. But that didn't work out, now did it? Either way. Either way. We got boots. Hmm. Boots are nice. I might give those to Lena. Because five movement sucks. Um... Is that it? Man, you can't you can't get up here, that's for sure. Not without a warp staff. We got all the treasures, Orion's bolts, uh, gold, manual. Uh, yeah. Silver sword and what was the last one? Uh, goddess icon. Okay. I think we're good. Thank you, Prince Marth. It was all thanks to your help that we could return to Palis. This radiant bow is called Parthia. It was one of the three weapons passed down by my royal family. Also, there is the uh, Mercurius sword and the great uh, Gradvius lance. It seems those two were taken by the enemy. If we could obtain those powerful weapons, your battles would become slightly easier. Only ever so slightly. Only ever so slightly. Wish the newer FE had that dodge animation instead of just jumping back. You know what? I can I think I can agree to that. Just I kinda like the GBA ones with like the sword masters where they're just like, eh. Even when they're sleeping, they're just like. <laughs> That's how they dodge. <clears throat> Grog, from the very beginning, was an ally of Altia. However, during the battle with Grost, they suddenly sided with the enemy. Because they were ambushed from behind, the Altian army was decimated. And its king, Cornelius, and the Falchion disappeared at Grog. It had already been two years since that tragic day. Marth finally reached Gra Castle, guarded by one who drove his father to death, a Geo. I feel like we're skipping a chapter, don't you think? Why does it feel like we're skipping a chapter? Hold on. Let me look. Uh, page 
this palace. Oh, this one is, uh... Never mind. So yeah, I think we just skipped a chapter. Because if I go to Land of Sorrow... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, we skipped a chapter. Yeah, there was a chapter, uh, before this that was cut called the Wooden Cavalry. Basically, we're, we would have been dealing with a bunch of bull, uh, ballistas. Let's see. What do we got? Astrum. He looks recruitable. Don't know by who, though. We got Pala and Katria. Why did it skip one? I'm assuming it's space limitations. When it comes to book one, five chapters were cut completely. I'm assuming it just had to do with space. So this is the third chapter that we skipped, apparently. And whenever a char uh, whenever a chapter has been skipped, uh, usually like the character that would have been recruited in that chapter got moved to like a later chapter, so you can recruit them. Abel, Magma, Barst, Caster, Var, Lena, I still need Julian, Sheeta, where is, where's Minerva, is there anyone else I take with me, I don't need any of you, don't need George, don't need Maria, I could take Bantu. It's either Bantu or Lind. Well, let me take Lind for a second. Let me make a save for now. Is there a spot I would want Bantu to just work to? Just to deal with a bunch of enemies. I could warp him down here just to deal with the thieves as well as this hero, but really isn't that great. And honestly, it's only just to stop these thieves from getting over here. That would be the only reason. Because I could actually just have Bantu warp here instead. And just deal with... Not him specifically, but deal with a bunch of these guys. They don't seem like a threat at the moment. We need Marth over here, that's for sure. Paula and Katria. I think we just need Minerva to talk to them. How come every boss we fight is like an armor unit, more or less? Almost every boss we have fought in is some sort of armor unit. Granted, that's just, like, normal Fire Emblem to do that. We need Armor Slayers. I don't think we need the Wyvern Slayer. Oh! Troblet Bridge. That's right! If I had... Bontu do something... Like, let's say I warped him here, so that way he can fight the thieves, but I had to, I would have to actually have Bantu be the one to attack, because the thieves won't fight back, that's for sure. The question is, is that worth it? I would actually probably be better off if I warped someone else, like maybe Navar. Warp Navar like here, deal with the thief, and then just deal with this guy. Or Agma. It really depends. 
Because after Navarre gets rid of these guys, or Agma, I probably have them just start going this way. And deal with these two. And it's gonna be a while before we can do anything else. I don't. I don't think I need Bontu for this map. I have Lind with me. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I need Bontu. Let's see. You have a Knight's Crest. I think that's okay. Actually, let's trade with Abel. Because Abel can actually use it. Now, I'm usually a type of person that likes to promote once I get to level 20. You know, get every stat boost I can along the way. However... Uh, wait, where is it? I guess I don't need the Worm Slayer. With Fire Emblem 1, like, is there any reason to wait? Is there a reason to actually just uh, like what's the benefit for promoting like as soon as I can? I know it's usually like you immediately get like a strength boost and stuff like that. They might be useful immediately. Back the armor slayer. You could keep the worm worm slayer at the moment. Goddess? You know what? If Lena is gonna be my only healer, or my only main one anyway, I wanna give her the boots. I'm gonna give her the boots. I hate having a healer that can't catch up to the other units. Sassanas Navarre have? Here's his stats, he is currently level 11. Ten strength, nine skills, speed of 17, 12 luck, 13 weapon level, nine defense, zero res. Again, I'm usually someone that likes to wait till level 20. The EXP has been rather slow, doesn't it? The EXP is pretty slow. So I don't know. But it's also... This is also a case where Navarre doesn't need the promotion yet. Ogma would be better in this map. I mean, he's very close to being level 10, that's for sure. 8 strength... 14 skill, 16 speed, 6 luck, 9 weapon level, 10 defense. 8 strength, 16 speed. Wow, like, Navarre is way stronger, and the speed is pretty much the same. But Ogma has way more skill. Granted, they are two level difference, so they're actually pretty even with each other. They're pretty even with each other. But yeah, I'm gonna let Lena have the boots. I I like having a healer that can actually keep up with everyone in terms of movement. Alright. I think that's good enough. Oh, that door opens. Oh, never mind. It's just what we can see. King Joel, or Giel, whatever, Giel, the Allied Army has finally come. What do you mean, Allied Army? Idiot! Why don't you just call them rebels? Yes, I'm sorry. It's just that everyone calls them the Allied Army now, so... Idiot! 
Those fools are just a bunch of rebels. You shouldn't have to fear them. I can't believe this. Not only did they make it here alive, but they're led by the Fire Emblem. Have you requested reinforcements from the Delunian Empire yet? Lunian. Lunian. I gotta say it right. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying it. Oh, yes. A squadron of Pegasus Knights are expected to arrive soon. Pegasus Knights? What good can those things do? I specifically requested either Camus sta uh, Sable Order or Micaias' Dragoons. Damn it! So that's how they treat me. They plan on betraying us. Just as we betray Cornelius. Damn, that Garneth. I don't want to die just yet. Do you understand what to do? Yes, your highness. Alright. Okay, that armor's guy is not there anymore. I could send Ogma this way and just deal with, like, at least this right here. But let's be honest, if I send in, like, Ogma or Navar, I'm probably just gonna focus on these three. And then head up here. And deal with these two, probably. I think I might warp Navar. Or, Ogma, sorry. Where's Ogma? There's Ogma. Warp? Ogma? Put him here so he can stop the thieves. The fact that warp can go to any square on the map is ridiculous. It is so ridiculous that it can just go to any square. What is his attack? His attack is 8? I think I have more defense. Yeah. Agma's fine. I would have normally used the iron one, but with that hero there, I want to make sure he has the stronger weapon equipped. Level 10. Strength, weapon level, and HP. Alright. Okay. Minerva. Right here is in range, so let's do something like this. Probably the same thing with Marth, because I don't know who needs to talk. It's probably Minerva. We can have someone try to deal with the sniper. It's probably going to be Caster, but even then, there's going to be some trouble there. I would want them to stand on the forest. Let's see. Yeah, Marth is ha has to head this way. It's gonna take a little bit. And Julian's just... Oh! Julian can cross the river. Interesting. I think we'll leave it there. Ah! Okay. Well, that was a quick loss. That was fast. Let's see what else happens, I guess. Thief moves first. That guy's moving down. And you know what? Let me just double check. No? 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 What? Neither of them talk? Huh. That's weird. Wait a second. 
Um, I forget what you're supposed to do then. If if it's not Marth or Minerva, is it one of those cases where they just talk to you on their own? It still has to move, but it skips the actual dialogue. Alright. So, what is your actual movement? Oh, wow, you can actually just straight up get over here. Oh, that changes things. I didn't realize that. I thought we couldn't cross the river. Never mind. Do I want Mark to head back? You know what? I think I will. Well, it is what it is. Let's try it. Honestly, just getting past this first turn is going to be tricky. Alright, I can still work. Since the thief moves first, I can at least use one set of iron weapon. The iron sword. Try to use that up. Yeah, let's start. Yeah, 11 damage. Yeah, we're fine. Let's use these up. Or at least on one enemy. and HP. Maybe there. Well, at least you're not gonna attack. Hmm. We can put caster in range. What is your attack speed? Seven. That is bad. If you have the iron bow, trips. Caster really needs more attack speed. He does he just need more speed to boost attack speed? Like is that all that's required? to make sure everyone else is out of range. I can set someone here. Do this. Do that. Alright. Let's give it a shot, see if that changes things. Let's see if they go after Marth. And he's going after Marth. Not a bad idea. He can't really defend himself. And he doubles. Thanks, Marth. Thanks for that. Could you die, Marth? You were the chosen one. Well, at least I don't actually have to reset. The game does that for itself. This first turn. You have to head out. 
was close to it. Yeah, thank you and have and have a good rest of your day, Franny. Have a good rest of your day. I'm gonna work on this this map and let's see if I can get past turn one. opening. Alright. If I set... Okay, well... Marth? I'm gonna set him here. He may not be on the fort, but... He's out of range of him. Let's try this. The real question is, do I need to worry about warping to get rid of the thieves? Speed weapon and HP. Okay. Am I worrying too much with getting rid of these thieves? It might be better to get rid of some of these other guys. I don't know. Oh, as soon as Marth tries to go through here, he's gonna have to deal with all of this. Ouch. Okay. And what is your range? Oh, right! I have to talk to you. Uh, two squares up. Wait. Yeah. And I can have Castor right here. Barst is fine. Can you go here? Get past turn one. I'm going after Kane. Okay. I, I didn't catch that. No! I can't get past turn one. I uh, didn't catch it. Okay. Pegasus Flyers go and talk to you. That's good to know. Let's try this again. I'm wondering if arenas are going to be way more useful since we missed out on five chapters in total. I don't know. I mean, they didn't seem that great when I messed around with it. Let's try this again. Let's make sure Kane's not in range.
We just need to get past turn one. And that'll help a lot. We got speed and luck. Iron. Get out of here. Ten. Weapon level and HP. That's not that great. You know, I'm pretty sure that RNG literally is random every time you reset. It's not going to be the same like it is like in the GBA Fire Emblem. Although, it's kind of weird. We saw like some weird consistencies here and there. to stand here. Now he's fine. Now let's try this again. Can we get past turn one? Counters. Wait, what? I thought Caster had enough attack speed. Did I not look at it right? Another reset. Another one. I thought Castor had enough attack speed to only get hit once. Try this again. Just need to get past turn one. The sniper's a roadblock. We can't really surround him. That kind of sucks. And I don't know who I need to talk to Anstram with. Probably Marth, but... I th Okay, you have an attack speed of 7. Oh! Uh... Hey, Absol, how's it going? And thanks for the follow. Let's see, we are on chapter 11 right now, and this is like my fifth attempt because I can't get past turn one. Uh, okay, wait a minute, what is your attack speed? Your attack speed is four. Your attack speed is seven, but he doubled. How did he double? I'm confused. If the difference needs to be four, then how did Caster get doubled? I also do retro achievements. I have them set up. Yes. Uh, here, I can pull them up very quick. Here, let me refresh the page. Yeah, we got some here. Although, mostly easy stuff. There doesn't seem to be too many complicated ones for this game. We'll actually do a look through uh, after I'm done for the day. Oh, I can post my... Uh, profile for Retro Achievements if you want to look at what I've done. Is that what you were trying to do with the command there? Just to get a link? Because I never thought about making a link like that. Okay. 
Okay. Well, if... Maybe I will make a link for... for that. I never thought about that. Yeah, I just kept it the same name. Try to keep some sort of consistency. Granted, I've only found out about retro achievements like last year, so I don't have much there. Let's try this again. Okay, the thief is gone again. up here makes him safe. I could put... No, I can't get him on the floor. Maybe I just need to stay out of range of the sniper for now. Just don't let him attack me. Not yet, anyway. Again, that's four attack speed right there. He shouldn't be able to double me. I don't know why he's able to. It's weird. Well, we should be getting past turn one with this setup. Let's see how this goes. It's all good, yeah. Lord Marth, it's been a while. I'm Katria. After hearing that Minerva had finally joined your side, I've been waiting for you. I will also try my best. Please, watch over me. And we got Katria. Lord Marth, greetings. I am Paolo of the White Wings. After hearing that you rescued Maria, my sister... Wait. Oh. After you rescued Maria, my sister, Katria, and I escaped from Medon. Following my promise to Katria, I will also fight together with Minerva. However, our youngest sister, Est, headed to Grust and hasn't been seen since. Once she returns, with the th uh, we three will be able to help you out even more. Yeah. Well, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going for 100% on the achievements on these streams. It's more of, like, let's just see what I can get as I play. But who knows, like, I kind of took a glance through, and it doesn't seem that bad. Like, maybe we will go for it. Okay. This guy's running away. Granted, like, it depends on the game and what I'm planning to do. Because this is a first playthrough, I was really only going to just get what achievements I can. But when I played Dragon Quest 1 and 2 a while back, I specifically was going for 100% uh, retro achievements. I'm going to add later. Yeah, more or less, yeah. Depends on the game, too. Okay. Agma's ready to go. Fight. He's running away. Why? I know we're going to have to talk to him. I'm going to need Navar with the Armor Slayer to deal with these two. But we need to surround him. But we currently can't do that. Oh, wait. Hold on. We have three flyers. We can surround him. And four. Yeah, we can surround him. Granted, this is going to be a problem. Ah, what to do, what to do. Most of the units can't get down there. Well, I think it might be best to get 
Kala out of the way. So if I do this, let me take a look. Good heavens. It's not supposed to have while we're actually gaming. Exactly, exactly. Just might as well, you know, if I'm going to play an older game, might as well try to get some achievements while I'm at it. Did... What do you mean an uh, audio device just got unplugged? Did the game crash? The game just crashed. What is going on? The game... Uh, I think my PC just doesn't want to uh, beat this chapter. Uh, what is happening? Hold on, let me uh, just close that all together. Yeah, it's not responding. I, that's weird. That is weird. It just decided, no, I'm not. Not today. You got past turn one? Not today. Let's try it again. Well, that sucks. But yeah, uh, on my own time, I've been playing Harvest Moon 64. And I started that, like, a while ago. Well, not a while, just, like, I don't know, a week or two ago. And, uh, you know, they just released GameCube stuff. And I'm like, well, I've been wanting to play GameCube, but I was waiting for RA to update that. So it's just like, great. Now I really want to just finish... Uh, I really just want to finish uh, Harvest Moon 64, just so I can start playing GameCube stuff on my own. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, something went wrong, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I just got past turn one. And uh, my PC didn't like that. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe down here. So yeah, what games do you typically like to play, Absol? I mean, I could look at your uh, retro achievements a little bit later, but right now, uh, I'm kind of focus on this. Skill and luck again, okay. Let's go ahead and get an iron sword going. But yeah, uh... So if you looked at my retro achievements page, you can see I mastered Dragon Quest VIII. That took that took a long time to do. That took a long time. And when I did what my one playthrough, uh, I did my one playthrough and I got all but two achievements for it. So after I I took a break for like a good like almost a year. And then I went back to get the last two achievements, which I basically had to start a new file for. And even then, I still ended up playing most of the game. Kind of annoying. Where were you supposed to go? Right next to the fort. There we go. But yeah, when I streamed Dragon, Qu Dragon Quest 1 and 2 a couple months ago, I specifically played it with the intention of getting every achievement on Metro Achievements, so... Yeah. I'm just backing up into the corner. Yeah, Katria... joining the party. Pal Paula... joining the party. Too bad I can't skip this. The best I could do is just press A and B. Speed up the text. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Let's move you out of the way. Seriously, you should have enough attack speed 
to not get doubled. But yet he got doubled. Okay. You can go ahead and get rid of the thief. Oh, I just realized he can use the silver sword now. He just needed that one weapon level. All right, so I am hoping he attacks Caster, and Caster survives like he should, and then we surround him. Let's see if we can get past turn two. Okay, going after Caster. survive. That's not the issue. How? Is the attack... Is the speed different? Oh, oops. I need to reset this. Well, we get to see if Agma can deal with this. Kind of. Might have to use a Volinary. I just got two more. I don't know where he's going. Well, another reset. I think it might be better instead to find someone tanky to survive the potential two hits. And then we surround him. That might be better. I have a feeling it might be Barst that would have to do that. He's pretty... He, well, he has a lot of HP. We'll see. We'll see. Let's try this again. Actually, now that I think about it, Bantu turning into a dragon and setting him right here would actually work. The question, though, is can he cross the river? I mean, maybe he can after he turns into a dragon. Let's see. I may have to throw Bantu in here. Alright. Alright. You got a crit this time. Not that it was needed. Level 10. Skill, luck, weapon level. Alright, that's something. Two of this again. Okay, no, that's not right. Mark, you go up here. Navar, you go here. Alright. You have 11 defense and 31 HP. So we're talking 12 attack. Barst can survive. He can take the hits, even if he gets hit twice. He has an attack speed of 7. He shouldn't get doubled. Barst can actually do this. So I'm gonna have Barst head over here. We're just gonna have Barst team with the hits. Here. Here. There we 
we go. Now we just need to surround the sniper when he goes to attack Barst. This sounds like the plan. Yep, Katria's here. Minerva's on our side, now Katria's on ours. Now for Paula. Come on. There we go. Made it. Okay. You move out of the way. First, you get in the way. Everyone else that's over here can kind of just stay where they are. Well, you go ahead and attack. I may consider using the silver sword against the hero. Got a crit. Well, it's, I think it saved in one hit, so that's good. I don't think I was going to kill in one hit anyway. That worked out. All right, now let's try it. Okay, he only gets attacked once. Does attack speed need to be a difference of three? We got a crit. 15. May not matter. Okay, there is currently an ad print playing. I am going to refill my water. Be right back. Back. Let's see. It looks like the ad is now done. All right. Bar survive. Let's surround him. Who should grab the KO? Though? Can any of these guys cross the river? No. So I'm safe from them. Let's go ahead and get. I might give the kill to Kane, or maybe even Lind if I can. Lind, can you do anything? Let's try Thunder. Yeah, not much out of that. If I went with Aura, though. Okay, what's my attack? 21? 19? Okay. Anyway. Let's go ahead and surround him. Do that first. Iron, we have 19. So nine. Nine damage. That's my attack speed. Okay. Nine damage. Let's just use up this iron lance. Let's go ahead and have Minerva with the steel, attack speed of 4, attack of 19, attack of 9, okay. There we go. Now, 
Lind with her Aura Tome. 19 damage. No, 18 damage. And deal enough. Get out of here. Not even enough to get a level. Normally in later games, when an underlevel unit takes out a promoted unit, you probably get a lot more EXP out of that. Alright. Navar needs to head down here. Let's go ahead and equip the Armor Slayer. Let's see. I could stand here. I'd only get attacked by, like, one of them, maybe. Yeah. We could do that. Granted, there's no avoid. But... Yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and heal Barst. We're gonna need another heal staff soon. Still don't know who to talk to you with. Probably Mark. Maybe Sita. Let's have you close. Oh, is this one of those cases where Julian needs to open the drawbridge? Um I think I want Mark to start. Wait, isn't there supposed to- yeah, they- he did mention he's getting more Pegasus Flyer reinforcements. Oh, wait, I was about to end it. Hold on. So, let's see. 16. 6 damage. Attack speed at 12. In 2 hits, I could KO. With the Silver Sword, though, I deal 10. Attack speed of 10. No, that's not good enough. You're at full health. I must have dodged. Attack of 17, defense of 10. Okay, we're good. We are good. We could just use the steel. Agma's got this. Everyone else that's up here can probably win. Uh, the healer's gonna try to heal the hero. Oh, I had a javelin. He had a javelin. I forgot. Worked out fine. Come on, Agma, you got this. No vulnerary was necessary. Level 11, weapon level, defense, and HP. Okay. Okay. He's still running away. Oh, why can't you cross the river? I thought you can. Oh, okay, Julian just lowers the drawbridge. I thought... Okay, whatever. I thought we needed something... Someone else? Okay, I'm a Slayer. 28. Yeah, we're gonna have to get someone to trade him the... Other Armor Slayer. Perfect. 
Wind has the other one? Yes. So let's go ahead and... Trade? There we go. Because you only have a Rider's Bane. And you have a Javelin, and you have a Silver. Do I want to deal with this? I'm probably just gonna need Caster to help out. Probably. Let's start getting Lena over here. Minerva and the other three peg uh, no, the other two Pegasus uh, flyers are probably just gonna hang out over here just in case. It's in the armory. Iron, steel, silver swords, slim lance, silver lances, steel, steel. No, I don't think we need any of this. I don't think we're going to use Pala, Katria, and Est. I don't see myself using them, but we are giving a bunch of units. Hmm. I don't know. Like, I barely actually use Shida. Let's see. I think it will be best for having to have you head up here. You have an armor slayer. You can work on some of these guys. All right. Someone to draw out the javelin user. Or I could just go attack him, that works too. Oh right, I was supposed to use the boots. Wind can't attack, so okay Navar, you got this. I thought that was a crit for a second. HP. All right. What is your attack speed? Zero. Let's use up my iron. Get close. Oh, right. Who talks to Anstram? Who talks to him? What? Oh. Uh. I don't have a. Mm. I don't have a way to talk to him. Uh. Increases movement by four? Wow. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's amazing, but ridiculous. I actually can't recruit him. Because I didn't bring... One of the characters from the last chapter. Do I reset for that? Hmm... Do I reset? You know what? I may actually do that. Pegasus has arrived. Down there, okay. Let's 
Caster's fine. How many can you take down? Well, he's definitely using up his iron bow, that's for sure. Luckily, I think Gordon has another one. I may bring Gordon's over. And it broke. There it is. One archer left. Get rid of the healer. Why didn't he go in the forest? He's not smart, is he? And that, that's that. Idea for, you know what? We're resetting so we can get the recruit, and you know what? It may not have been a death, like an actual death, but we'll count it. We will count it. We'll count it as a death. It's more of like death or reset, whatever you want to actually call it. You could call it as, uh, if you want, you could say that Astram was going to die. Alright. Alright. Let's get, I need to bench someone else. I need to bench someone. And that's someone... Someone Sheeta. She is benched. Wait. Or is it Minerva? Oh, I don't know. She is benched for this one. We need Media, who's a paladin. Okay. I thought you were a Pegasus Flyer. Okay. I don't care what she has. She's just here to recruit. She has nothing. That's fine. I don't care. I don't want her to actually do anything anyway. Alright. Let's try this again for real this time. And now that I have a better idea of what needs to be done. Yeah, we 
put... Actually, I'm gonna put uh, Julian in the square hole right there. That way he's closer to the drawbridge. Minerva can head over here. That's not gonna hurt anything. But yeah, you need to... You don't need to get close, but... Alright. Is that it? That's it. Man, that cat is whining. He wants something. Give me a minute. You know what to expect. Oh, he's moving somewhere else. Oh, he's trying to meet up with Media. Okay. Be right back. Cat, I don't know what the cat wants. Can you cross the river? You can. I'll set you here, actually. I should be good to go. Wait. Gotta go to Agma. Go ahead and get the crit. Perfect. Vulnery. Now we're good. Now we can end the turn. Bars gets attack. And luckily, he's not going to get doubled. Yeah, Ogma has this covered. Last time, didn't Ogma get a crit? I think he did. Okay, it's gonna go a little bit differently. If I remember correctly, Medea was talking about wanting to talk to someone named Anstram, but I didn't remember the conversation from last stream. Astram, why are you here? Medea? Is that you, Medea? Are you alright? It's great to see you again. Uh, Anstram, you didn't know. The Eltian army has already liberated pa Palus. We hostages were all f freed. And now we're fighting together with Altia. So you don't need to help the enemy anymore. Really? That's great. In case... In that case, I want to try my hand at challenging Deluna once again. Hmm. From now on, we'll be together. I'll definitely not leave your side again. There we go. We got Anstram. So this one I had... Yeah, I had Able Surround. And we 
Duncan. you know, surround and get a crit. That's fine. Level 2, skill, luck, weapon level. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. What's your movement? Uh, Maybe we can make this work. Yes, perfect. I mean, Julian may get attacked. He may get attacked, but hopefully he can survive. Lena is going to want to get close. Might as well have her use the boots right now. Caster is going to want to start heading to the left. What did you have? A killing edge? Silver Sword, and you have nothing. Well, Anstram is just gonna hold back, you know? He's not really gonna do anything. And Marth. And he's gonna start heading down. There we go. Right here. Ogma. Okay. Let's see. You took eight damage? Wait. You took eight damage. If you get hit by eight damage again, you're at 11. And then we'll... Okay. So you can take two hits. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. I should not attack. However... I can equip the silver, and we're going to wait. There we go. You're going to try to heal. Let's go ahead and go after Navar. It's gonna work for you, I swear. Now the question is, is the Javelin user gonna go after Navarre, Julian, or Abel? Julian. And he survives. And that's all he needed to do at the moment. So that works out. Agma's faster now? Since when? Since when is he faster? Or doubles, whatever. Hold on. Hold on. Since when? Attack speed 13. Wait, is the difference need to be three? For you to be faster? Is that the only... Oh, I've been doing this all wrong. I thought the difference needed to be four, because that's how it normally is. It's normally a difference of four. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. All right, so the plan is he's going to go in here again. He's going to use a Volunary because he's going to need it. Caster, go right ahead. At least want him to. Ch the, uh, I want him to have the chance to dodge at the very least. Mark this to where he's at for now. Uh, Julian, you back out. We need healing. You attack with the armor slayer. You will not 
to the KO. I think. Mm. But I could give the KO to. No, I can't get the KO. 21. I can't even give the KO to Lind. That sucks. At the very least, I'll weaken. Give her some EXP. Oh, I didn't even catch that. I should have caught that, but I didn't. Trade that back. Let's use it up. Let's use it up. I didn't even catch that. Armor Slayer bro uh, broke. I'll trade it back to him later. Let's just go ahead and heal. I was about to use the warp. Wait a minute. Another ad break? Really? Huh. Well, let's see. Navarre has to move next turn anyway. We just have some of my units. If I am correct, if I move on to the next turn, nothing's gonna happen. So we can let it play out. Not missing anything. Can wait here. Mark. Magma, you go up here. We're gonna need to use a Bolinary. Just in case. seconds on the ad, but not much is really happening. What is your range? Alright, let's try this again. Oh, right! It just becomes a broken sword. I forgot about that. Okay, well, the turn order is not the best as it could have been, but... Yeah, it could have been better. Oh, well. What's your range? Alright, get you right here. At the very least. You're fully healed. You're fine. Actually, the Orion's Bolt should have gone to Caster. Oh well, um... I think I'll just leave everyone where they are at the moment. Yeah, I think we're fine. Alright. Pegasus have arrived. I might send... Cain and Abel down there. Actually, I think they're gonna head north to uh, Minerva. Store for the crit. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. That's a level he needs. Like, survive another hit. Come on, you could survive another hit. 
for dodge? Are you kidding me? He survived last time, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Okay, well... I kind of already know what to expect. Alright. I thought that would be the run, but nope. Never mind. Caster... Can't dodge. I've seen him dodge, like, freaking 9% chances. He couldn't dodge a 30. He can't dodge a 30%. That's a little ridiculous. Seen all this before. If I fail one more time, I'm turning off animations. You know, just to speed it up. HP. Perfect. Okay. Here. Maybe I won't put Minerva that close to uh, the, the left, because I might send Cain and Abel down here. If they're closer to the Pegasus Riders, I'll have them grab KOs. join you, but please save my sister. Please do that. She can be good. Trust me. She can be. I'm not saying she will be. She can be. survive a... Julian is able to survive a Japanese. Using up the silver sword a little bit more sadly, but it lets me double the hero, so that's a little bit better. Go ahead and use your boots. And I think I'm just waiting it out. Are you kidding me? Varst got hit by a crit? What is this BS?
Why? What did I do? Was it because I used the boots? Does me using the boots on turn two use up RNG enough for him to get hit by a crit? That's a little ridiculous if that's the case. Come on. This is getting dumb at this point. Actually, it could have been used because I used the silver sword. I don't know how that would make sense, but that could be the case. I mean, I don't know how else it could make sense, but you know, it's the best I got. level? Okay, whatever. Fine. I won't use the boots on <laughs> I get a crit? What is with this RNG? Fine. I won't use the boots on turn two. Are you gonna be happy, game? Are you gonna let me continue? think I would need to be, but apparently I do need to be worried about him. Hi, Mark. You, you saved people. Let me join you. Thanks for saving Maria. Why don't you let me join you? I can fight, I swear. If I have Caster right here instead, he'll only get attacked by two. And then that way he can survive. Use the silver. You know, I kind of wish he got the crit when I was using the silver sword and not the iron. But oh well. Again, fine, I won't use the boots this turn. Are you gonna be happy with me, game? Good. I guess the game doesn't like it when I use the boots on turn two. I don't get it, but okay. to Anstram. Hey, I'm safe. Why don't you join me? Okay. I'll join. Great. Go grab your stuff. Come on. There we go. That's done. Uh, it was... 
stable? Then it was Minerva. Okay, she didn't get the crit this time. That's okay. I'm okay with that because I'm gonna hand it to Lynn. I think I have to attack with Aura. Yes. That's right. <sighs> she even got a crit. Not that it was needed, but she got one. Julian, I know you can survive. Lower the drawbridge. Bar. Whip. Armor Slayer. Um. Let me go ahead and heal Barst. Barst is just there, just flexing his muscles all the time, you know? He knows how strong he is. And his accuracy, like, it hasn't really been a problem unless I'm trying to use a hand axe, but why would I do that? I, I seriously only use, like, hand axe legitimately, like, attempt to actually use one, like, twice. I'm gonna set you here. Trade over to Caster the Orion's Bolt. And he can actually use it. So that's just another option. And we still have Agma. Alright. With the silver, we deal 10. And that's exactly the amount of damage I need to do. Overkill much? <clears throat> level 11. Luck, weapon level, and HP. Alright. We have another sniper to deal with. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with him. Oh, I dodged. Julian gets attacked. That's fine. Alright. Caster! You head over here. I'm gonna set him here this time, so that way he's not attacked by three archers. Attack with Thunder. Because Aura is one point of damage short from getting a one hit KO. So that's nice. I know she survived last time, but let me double check. 15. I know she survived last time, but I'm just double checking. You never know. Something could change. At least it's not a crit. There's no chance of that. And she dodged. Good for her. Okay. Armor Slayer. Okay. 
So we can stand here. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I want to send Cain and Abel. Sends here. I want to send my calves down. Stay. Uh, Julian needs healing. Get hit. You did, but you're fine. Agma's great. Not much issues with actually using Agma. All right, Caster. You say right here. Navar. But I can't get you closer. Wait, 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 wait. Honestly, you just stay there for now. Julian's fine. I think everyone can kind of just stay where they are at the moment. Yeah. Let me double check. Did Agma move? No, he didn't. Good. Good thing I double checked. Silver. Steel. What is your attack? 22. You're fine. Equip the Armor Slayer. Wait. And... Go. Oh no! Pegasus! They're here! Which way are they gonna go? I don't know if they're gonna head north to where Maria is, uh, Minerva is, or are they gonna head right to... Oh, Caster dodges now! Now he dodges. Man, RNG is never consistent, isn't it? And he gets a crit. But on a turn when it didn't matter. Strength, speed, HP, and weapon level. Pretty good, pretty good. What? Caster! How come you can dodge? Two 20% chances in a row, but you can't even dodge one 30%. Are you kidding me? Fine. I'll, I mean, look, I'll take it, but that's a little ridiculous. And I know how these games work is that whatever the number says, that's actually the percentage. It's one to one. It's not a double rule system like the GBA stuff. Bonavar. 12 strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. We might have to Volinary. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to go But we got rid of him. Good. Okay, they're 
going after the calves. Okay, let's see. Able? Can you do anything? So 19, 12. But you have plenty of attack speed. You'll get the KO. And of course he gets a crit. Not that it mattered. Not that it mattered. You know, why save resources, you know? Why not just go for the overkill? Okay, so attack speed of 2, attack of 18. We're not doubling, and we are not KOing. That's an attack of 16. And I have a de defense of 8. Kane can survive. Granted, if he had an iron weapon, he probably would have been able to double. Sadly, that's just how it went down. Now, if, no matter what this Pegasus, this Pegasus Rider is just going to die. Okay. What is your attack? 17? Se exactly enough? Are you kidding? Exactly enough? Fine. Whatever. Be that way. Use a Volinary. Actually, can I get. Can I get you to do it? Uh, I think, kind of like last time, I want her to weaken. She needs some EXP. Dodged. Level 2, speed, luck, and weapon level. Alright, let's hope that helps her. You know what? Navar doesn't need the kill. What if we give it to Merrick? Uh, just use thunder. Actually, just use fire. Do we have the attack speed? Six. Yeah, we'll just use fire. Okay, he needs healing, but that's fine. Perfect. Next. to only get attacked by one for right now. And then afterwards I'll see if he can uh, deal with two. Or if can get a little closer. Down here, let's see... Oh, I haven't used the boots yet. Oh, okay. There we go. Might as well just make sure these two are somewhere over here. Julian, head over here. Arst, you follow along. Alright, we're done with the armor slayer. Just have the iron equipped for now. Who's left? Just as we require. More Pegasus! Yeah, this is why I had a feeling he'd probably get hit. The iron broke. Okay. 
You move closer for what reason? doing fine. Yeah, you're going after Kane. Yep. Okay. Kane got a level. Skill, weapon, defense, and HP. We'll take it, we'll take it. Let's hope that defense actually mattered for Kane. Let's hope it mattered. I'm not worried about Abel, that's for sure. Let's see if that def defense mattered. So what? Seven? a reset. That is a reset. <sighs> One more, maybe? Uh, we'll see. Before I forget, let's make some trades. Because I forgot to do this. You're good. You know what? Uh, I don't think I'm going to use the steel one for now. Where's... this work, I swear. trades just to get it done beforehand. Let's try this again. Maybe if Kane has an iron weapon so it's he's not weighed down, maybe, just maybe, he won't die. Granted, it might, I might be better off sending, not sending Kane down there, but we'll see. Work. We know the drill. The last one was going so well, too. Does Kane need to be benched? Or is he just falling behind? That was the whole reason why I was sending out to the Pegasus. So he could get some extra... Uh, some extra EXP.
here. And... Hey, Mark, why do I have to keep joining your team? What's going on? Who's dying all the time? Is it... Is it Lind? I think it's Lind. Like, no, no, it's Kane. I think it's, I think it's that Abel guy. Be like, no, no, it's not. It's Kane. You go here. You go here. We don't use the boots, because that uses up the wrong type of RNG. Silver. Okay. Fall Mary. Not that it's needed. All right. Everyone else, you just wait there. Oh, did I not? Oh, you know what? Hold on. I forgot. That was for... Kane. This is for Barst. RNG just wasn't in my favor? I mean, I, I don't know. I have no idea what happened. What did I do wrong? The RNG is just like, nah, not today, not this one, try again. It's like, oh, I see you made a bunch of trades beforehand. For no reason, I see. Just to save some time. It would be a shame if I just give, uh, you know, just activated a crit right there. It would be a shame. If only I can activate the boots in the status screen. If Cain just didn't die to the Pegasus, it would have been okay, but he didn't have the defense. But it does seem like Kate, uh, Abel is able to just tank it all himself. He doesn't need to do anything. Really, Agma? Was that needed? Was that crit needed? Did you really need to get that crit? Whatever. Let's try this again. RNG's weird. Was, uh, did Bart uh, did Bart just get hit by a crit? That's pretty pathetic, actually. Maybe you should bench him. I think he's too good normally. Maybe snipers are just really good. 
Maybe you should have one. Maybe you shouldn't have benched Gordon and just brought him along and made him a sniper. Then you would get more crits. Just every time I reset, uh, Paula and Katria are just constantly giving me more shit. Well, at least that saves a use. I'll take that one. I'll take that crit. Alright. I'm pretty sure using the boots doesn't actually use up any sort of RNG. But it was a weird coincidence, am I right? Take it. Agma's really mad this time. Luck, weapon, and HP. Okay, let's see. Anstrom, join me! Join the dark side! Wait, aren't I already on the dark side? No! You are not! Join me, and together we will rule the galaxy! Alright. Uh, Abel... Sniper! I'm not gonna heal up. I'm gonna use my brand new boots. They're very fancy. Okay, Ozma. For the javelin. No chance for critting, so... Hey, look! Julian dodged this time! Good for Julian. Now that Castor is a little bit closer... Not that equipped. 
keep back up. Wait, you attack with thunder. Oh, good, she dodged. And she even got a crit. Good for her. Still need to trade the armor slayers, but that works out. Skill, luck, weapon level, HP. Well then. Let's go ahead and trade the armor slayers around then. your range again. Same here. Cable can go here. You have to go here. Now let's just do that. Minerva, just go here, I guess. Has Ogma done something? No. You're at 19 health. You're fine. What's your movement? Right here. Your Slayer? Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Now for the other archer. She was on the first hit, but we got a crit. No kill like overkill. Alright. Next. Let's see. Actually, first, I'm gonna have Julian go ahead and trade the Physic over. So that's where it was supposed to be at. And I wanted boots. Now we heal. Eh, close enough. Close enough. attack. Yeah, same thing. Stand here. Use a vulnerary. Alright. Let's 
try this again. Oh man, the Pegasus have arrived! broken. I didn't see that. Luckily, she survived. I did not see that. Luckily, Navarre still has the other one. Good. Alright. Next. Now it's Agma's turn. will survive. And there's no kill like So I already know that one of the Chain. What are we looking at now? With an attack of 15 and attack speed of 4, we can double. 15. So we're talking 8 damage? That's not enough. What I think I will do, though, is you go over here, and you get rid of this one. some dodges. Seven damage. Not enough. Could hand it to Merrick. Instead. Attack at 15. Yeah, you know what? Let's hand it to Merrick. Yeah, I got healed in. Or, you know, he gets a crit. That works, too. Alright. You need healing. Have you stand here? The steel ball. And Marth can go ahead and stand right here. Right. Some of these characters need healing. Lind, you head back for now. Jean, you head down. Let's hope Kane can handle this. He has a Volinary. What? I'm gonna have Barst nearby. And the bar heads this way.
Okay. What do you have? A silver lance. You have no range. We attack with... Let's try the iron. 13 attack. Man, you can't do anything anyway. Might as well use up my iron. Pegasi. Okay, go ahead, run away. Yeah, you're going after Kane. Yay, level up. Level 9, strength, speed, weapon, and HP. Good. Alright, you stay here. You didn't heal. Caster, go ahead and attack. Skill. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marth can move up one more square. Lena can head back. Keep Abel where he's at. Agma, you go right ahead. Get rid of him. That works. Pegasus. And we got a crit. Castor's done his job. I don't know why 
I need to tag it from the back, but that works, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Oh, why can't you dodge? and HP. So if I want able to have a chance, what I need to do is I need to have Barst go ahead and grab the KO. He got a crit. He didn't need to, but he got one. to heal. Okay, he still has a whole Mary on him. Abel also needs to use a Volunary. Right? No, I just got you. Done. You can head back. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and grab. Not the manual. Not the rapier. Not the mend. Wait, someone has. There it is, the heal staff. Okay, Marth. to attack, I don't think, but let me look. With the Armor Slayer, 26 damage. He has 18 defense. Um, that would be 8 damage in total. That's not much. He can deal 26 to me. A total of 18 damage. Ooh. You know what? I think we are going to save the boss for my mages. In that case, let's go ahead and have Agma back out. I can attack there, but that's it. There's no way to really surround him. isn't anything we can do to surround that guy. I may need Barst to get over there so he can uh, tank a hit. Oh, I didn't even think about that. More Pegasus Flyers? I don't know how long these are going to last. can go ahead and actually win in one fight. How come Abel dodges, but yet Kane, who is currently on a forest tile, is not dodging? Alright. 
Oh, first, let's go ahead and go to the village. So you are Altia's Prince Marth. Are you? Wait, so you are Altia's Prince Marth. Then I have one request. This is a magic tome belonging to Arcanea's Bishop Boa. Originally, it was in the possession of Doluna's Bishop, Volzheim. But now it's in my hands. Can you return it to Boa for me? Also, please take care of Princess Nina. I hope that you can protect her personally. Well, I must leave. We will definitely meet again. Thoron! There we go, that goes in storage. You know what? Minerva, we need to head out this way. I'm sure we'll send, we'll send them over to Okay. What is your range? I can have you go ahead and grab the KO. pick up another heal staff. Just to have one in storage. Barst, stand here. Guard, Lena. Equip the seal. Equip the iron. Alright, what are we doing over here? Not sure yet. Oh, I just realized something. Julian opens the door. He's in danger. Okay, what's his attack speed? His attack speed is 10. Luckily, Julian will not get doubled. However, attack of 22, that's a 4. Nope, Julian would need 2 more HP to survive. So that's not going to work. What's your attack speed? 13, and that's with the Armor Slayer. If we use something like a Killing Edge... Let's say we went with the Killing Edge. More attack speed, more crit, 18 power. 18 power. We will double. He has 9 defense. 9... 9 damage. I would double, so not 18 in total. That's not enough. That is not enough. Why isn't... Man, I wish rescue was a thing. Oh, no. What do we do? We can't... Oh, no. Hmm. Who's left? Is that it? Okay. How do we get those treasures? Why are you going after Abel? Oh no. This is not good. I didn't think he would go after Abel. Look at this. If he hits... Oh, I lucked 
out. And it broke. I lucked out. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Oh, wait. Just in... No, not sell. No. Yes. Buy. Supply. Just a heal staff. Just to have. No, that's it. Okay, now Martha needs to start heading down. Okay. You are at full health. You need healing. You, you'll still double with the steel. If you go up, what are we looking at? Then wait. Sixteen damage, five attack speed. He's at full health. Um, what's the best route? What's the best route? You know what? No, you go here. Wait. Staff. I have to use a mend. Not enough to double. She gets doubled. She's dead. Attack of 13. Not a flyer. Attack of 10. Oh, no. Okay. Julian cannot survive a single hit. Where's your strength? Strength is 10. Where's your strength? Strength is 8. He's also weakened. Wait, doesn't someone else have the door key? Because maybe Ogma can open. Wait, I forget how door keys work. Does it has to be? Does it have to be used by a thief? Enforcements are there going to be? Well, 
Well, at least he finally dodged one. You know, it's not like he's on the force type. Hey, look, he dodged again. And he got a crit. Thank you, Kane. You did exactly what you were meant to do. Level 10. Strength, speed, weapon level, HP. That's exactly what he needed. That's exactly what he needs. Mark, you go ahead and start heading back. We could go ahead and let Abel run up for this KO. Someone needs to go get rid of that healer, but honestly, he's not doing anything. Okay. Well. More Pegasus. Take them both down in one fight. So now we don't need to worry as much about healing. Because I don't think so. Give Marth this KO. He he needs the ESP. So if I go ahead and have Kane go over here and attack with the iron. Wait, is that what I want to do? out. How many turns are the reinforcements going to show up? You need to pull an area. And we have Minerva here as backup. Uh, Caster needs healing if there's an opportunity. Can you open the door? No. 
what's the point of a door key? What's the point? Okay. Julian is the only one that can actually open the door. Rescue is not a thing. We can't distract him. So what should be the plan? What if... Nav okay, so Navarre has a higher strength set. What if I give you the... Silver. Or something. Okay, if you have the silver equip, that's 22 damage. Attack speed of 14. 22 damage with the speed of 14. Defense of 9. Wait, did I do that right? Yeah, 22. 22 to minus 9. That's 13. 26. Not enough! Honestly, Navarre is probably better off trying to go for a crit. These two can't survive, nor they, can they really deal that much damage. Julian is just going to get hurt and killed unless he dodges. These two are weak to bows. Strength, speed, weapon level, HP. I am reading... What turn is it? We got one or two more turns of Pegasus Knights. These two are fine. Let's heal up Caster. enough. It's gonna have to be. Oh, I don't know what to do. You know what? I have a idea. He'll go to attack unless someone's in range. Oh, no. That is also not a good idea. He, he could just move here. Never mind. If I want the treasure chest, it sounds like I have to take a risk, and that risk is Navarre. But 
the killing edge. It sounds like that's all my that's all I got. There's one other thing I could do. One other move. Level 14, strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. to be done. No more down here. Okay. How much damage was able to be hit by? Like eight? I don't know. Play it safe. Play it safe. Okay. I got one other idea. Here's the idea. Open the door. Have Navar try to go for the killing edge. If the killing edge fails, I use my warp staff on probably Agma. And warp, like, right here or something. And then go for it. That is the only thing I could think of. And that is more of a if this fails type of move. But that's the only other strategy I could think of. Let's see how Barst and Caster can maybe do something about this. And getting all the crits. EXP grind. He was desperate. Alright. Supposedly, that's the last of the reinforcements. But I'm not going to take that risk just yet. Okay. If Bars were to say... Hand Axe. The attack of 20... 11 damage, make sure attack speed, 5, I will not get doubled, 22, 11 HP, Bars will take 11 HP of damage, he will not get doubled, however, there's that chance to crit. That 12%. I don't like that. I don't like that. Hmm. Okay. That's the end of the reinforcements. Martha's going to go for this. Uh, everyone just needs to start heading this way, I guess. There's no more reinforcements.
I think the plan is to have Navar go ahead and go for the Killing Edge. If that fails, I warp off Agma. Using two warp staffs on this round. But that might be my best shot. I wouldn't mind him getting healed, though. He's just like, no, don't hurt me! Days are numbered. So this round, let's go ahead and heal him. Not that I need to heal him for the warp, but I can't work till next turn anyway. Thought of a strategy if this fails. First, Marth, go ahead and start fighting. Defense of five, attack of eleven. Might as well just use my iron. Use it up. I thought of a idea. Two thieves. I don't need Merrick. I haven't really used Merrick. So two thieves. One to open this door. One to open this door. Cavalier is here. So like Kane or Abel. Rush up and attack. And then the Navar stretch. Alright. Let's give this a go. I have to wait. Navar, you have to go for it. Come on, crit. You need the crit. Thank you. There we go. We saved a warp staff. Skill and luck. We saved a warp staff. If that didn't work, I would have needed to warp Agma over... Anyway, that would have sucked. Everyone else start heading to the boss, I guess. Even though I'm pretty sure my mages are the ones that kind of have to do it. That was the biggest hurdle right there. Oh, it's so nice having a healer with, what, nine movement? It's ridiculous. It's so nice having a healer with good movement. That way she can actually catch up to anyone that needs healing. Marth goes ahead and works on this healer. 
I could have left the other hero healer alive for Marth to go after. Instead of having Ogmite work on that. Oh well. It's gonna be a slow process, but it's gonna work. Who are probably going to be the ones taking on the boss. Probably Lin with her aura tone. Yeah, so if I really wanted to save another work, if that didn't work, bringing two thieves and then have a cav down here. So that way, if the crit fails, the cav can rush in and get rid of... Get rid of them. Why do I bother moving now? Might as well have you keep fighting. Actually, you know what? Let's go... S for the crit. That speeds up the process. There we go. Level 8. Skill and luck. He needs more attack power. He's really trying to go for a crit build, isn't he? But can she not go inside? Side unless they dismount. I mean, I wasn't planning on actually using them in there anyway, but... Okay, come on. Everyone's gotta get there eventually. Ogma's like, ugh, I gotta head all the way back now. That's ridiculous. Flyers can't enter. Not unless they dismount. Okay. Interesting. I need to grab the other treasure chest. And then uh, he can go for the door. time to go around, even when Julian's taking a detour. We got the silver card! Beat the thief to a chest with the silver card. So, it sounds like if the thief got it first and then we got it, it wouldn't have counted for the achievement. 
he had to get there first. There. Why am I taking everyone here? Caster probably can't even help. Far. Yep, the calves can't make it in either. like, I have returned. Now I'm off for your head. Except, I think these guys are going to go for it. It's too bad the Fire Emblem doesn't open doors. It can open chests. Not doors. Alright. Lind, you have the best shot. With the Aura Tome... 21 HP of damage, well, more like uh, 18. He can't fight back. And I can't double. What if I have Merrick weaken first? I should have killed you all when I had the chance. Yay, Merrick got a level. Speed and HP. Hmm. I mean, I think he needs speed. All right, Lind. Uh, no, 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 no. No, not again. Wrong. No, there we go. Yeah, let's just use Aura. Okay. I'll let Lind have it, honestly. She really needs the XP. him again. That's 8 EXP, it's not much. And or for the win. Is a level. What do we got? Level three, skill, luck, weapon level, HP. And we got a silver lance. The kingdom of Grala is done for. My daughter, Shima, you must for me. Hmm. All right. A few more turns. more turns. I don't think Mark can make it. Yep. One more. Okay. 
Prince Marth. We searched the whole castle, but the Divine Falchion sword is nowhere to be found. It seems to the rumors were true. It has already been taken away by Garneth. Really? But without the Falchion, we cannot defeat Medeus. I'm sorry, everyone, but even though Altia is so close now, we must go to Caden. Save the game, and I am calling it here. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scott Mises. Or stream on campus. There's a link in the about page. Tomorrow, we move on to chapter 12. I can't believe this chapter took so long, but there's a part of me that's not surprised. I remember this one having some trouble. Anyway, have a good day.